on the move. Employees leaving a meeting at Toyota's Erlanger headquarters after they got surprising news about the future. In two years, Toyota's North American manufacturing headquarters will close its doors in the tri-state. Chopper 9, the only helicopter in town giving you these aerial shots of the Erlanger facility. This move means a thousand local jobs go to Texas. About 300 employees will head to the Georgetown plant and more than 250 will move to the Detroit area. Part of Toyota's plan to consolidate U.S. operations in the Dallas suburb of Plano. Some may choose to go to Texas, others may look for opportunities closer to home. There's the direct impact of Toyota leaving northern Kentucky and then there's the indirect impact. Small businesses that depend on Toyota's business are now, of course, dreading the idea of losing all those customers. Nine on your side's Jason Law spoke to some local shop owners about how this will hurt their bottom line. Jason? Erlanger is like a lot of small communities full of restaurants, gas stations, hotels, even a bowling alley. But when you talk about removing more than a thousand potential paying customers, well, for businesses, that's going to hurt. Big impact, I think, negative impact sure, around here. Sure. It's not hard to understand why Tajima Hiroshi is upset after finding out about Toyota's decision to leave Erlanger. The owner of Joanne Japanese Cuisine estimates 30 to 40 percent of his business comes from Toyota employees. Surprise and sad because, uh, you know, pretty much. Uh, Around here, we depend on the Toyota. There's no question Toyota brought growth and prestige to Erlanger. When it opened its plant in 1996, it employed 350 people. It will close with more than 1,600. According to its website, Toyota brought around 100 business suppliers to Kentucky, including Toyota Bosch Hoku in 2005. The parts supply offshoot company employs 100. Oh, yeah, by all the restaurants, you know, all the businesses in the community, it's really, really going to affect, just, just like when Comair, you know, when we lost Comair, it's the same thing. Penny Wickman says her bowling alley, the Erlanger Super Bowl, is a hot spot for Toyota execs to host parties and leadership conferences. She says many Toyota workers are also league bowlers. This hurts. Yeah, definitely, it'll definitely impact our business. And that's the hard part about this trickle down effect in economics is quantifying it. I asked Penny at the bowling alley if she could put a dollar amount on it. She said she couldn't, but easily the bowling alley is going to be out thousands of dollars a year in Toyota's business. We're live tonight in Erlanger. Jason Law, not on your side.